Hey guys, Angler here. Welcome back to Resonance of Fate. In the last part, we did the chapter side quests and opened up the path to the Forest of Idols. And in this part, we'll go and deal with the dungeon. First, I think there's a few changes I want to make, though. I think I can change the guns around a bit now, so... Yeah, that'll work. So let's take out the enemies then. There's a lot of them. Better have used a cover. Surprise that work. Got him. And Vasheron leveled up. You want some more? You picked a fight. Hold that. Take that. I was born and Oh, and of course it still gets its sneak attack. Eat this! Oh, yeah. And the finisher. <laughs> if using cover really is the way that to go. That wasn't a battle. That was assisted suicide. I agree with Zephyr there. They sure didn't put up a fight. So, those glowing red hexes can be fought if you want extra shards on your hero gauge, but I don't think I'll deal with them just yet, because a lot of the battles are really hard for the point of the game you're at. However, if you go back and do them after the point you're supposed to, they're really, really easy. So let's check this place out. We got an abandoned energy station. Nice. I think we'll make a quick save. When in doubt, save to a new file. Anyway, there's no reason to rest, so... <laughs> What's so funny? Uh... Nothing, just remembering something. Well, if it's about me, you better forget it. Well, we'll just ignore the forest path. Yeah, we'll see you later. How about... Running away with my tail between my legs isn't really my thing. And let's go to the forest. In and out, nice and easy. Okay, let's start by taking out the drone. How's this? Well, that sure didn't help. Guess I'll try something a little crazy. Let's run over here.
think that's much of an issue now. Well, that was a failure. As was that. Please let me attack. I am not handling this smartly at all. And it's a level up. Let's hope this breaks the body part. There. Now we're making a comeback. Oh, no bonus. smarter with my positioning, but... Oh well. Also, unlike the last few dungeons, this one's completely... I've just about had it with these sprites. I doubt Guerrilliano would miss a few. That's it. I'm killing them. Yeah, we'll handle this a little bit differently. Pretty cool. I got the kill. I didn't expect that. Okay, that's enough wasting hand grenades, but at least that worked. Now let's sneak around from behind. Everything's working now. Not 
complete annihilation. All his body parts were gone. Let's just run over here. And keep the attack up. Let's let Leanne finish. There we go. That room is so much easier than the other one. I don't think I shot up any treasure. Yeah, where's the purple exit? There we go. Uh, going for the oil drums right at the start was a smart move. These are his beautiful, dangerous wood sprites. I don't believe it. That's what you get for accepting work for the wrong reasons. Let's blow him up. Wow, level up. Yeah, that'll work. Straight to hell. There we go. They're all down. So I guess the moral of the story is that abusing the crap out of the barrels ruins everything. Like, the barrels did all of my work that time. So after this, we only have two more rooms and then the boss. Yeah, I could do without the friendly fire. I've got the hang of it now. Yeah, the jury's still out on that one. Oh my god! I didn't know that accidentally equipping grenades could do that much. Like, whenever I do something amazing with a grenade, I'm never intending to do it. There's a bronze box, I think, that got murdered in the process. Too late. Oh well. That was funny. Too slow. Guys really suck. You want we'll just get him to jump over. Straight to hell. And there he goes. Exactly sure what it is, but he I just like vanished it. into the fire. Let's head to the red area then. So it looks like we got our boss already. This thing is kind of a pain. It loves inflicting burns on you. 
And the best thing I have to hit it with is hollow point pluses. Oh, There's nothing I can do. So we got one body part down. Alright then, let's try this. That wasn't perfect, but... And Zephyr got burned. That's awesome. Whatever, he's almost dead though. Zephyr could just do that. Whatever. The am will take the kill then. Not really a fair fight, was it? Well, that was really easy. I mean, I did have a close call there because Zephyr completely screwed up, but... Must be the man so now we have our prize. About. It's kind of beat up. Maybe that makes it more artistic. Think we'll get in trouble if we pick some flowers? All I heard was avoid the sprites if you know what's good for you. <laughs> He's right. Cardinal didn't say anything about picking flowers. Awesome! <laughs> So, no, we got flowers. None of the flowers here are anything to write home about anyway. That uh, looks like baby's breath. But you're right. It's just a backdrop. Backdrop for what? Take a look. See how it brings out the color and the main attraction. Let's get this thing back. So now we gotta go make the delivery. What do you know? I got one escape hex. We're out of here. I thought I didn't have one for whatever reason, but whatever. So now we. Let's get this over I'm with. Stupid. I guess the place I have to bring it into is somewhere inside the forest of idols. Running away with my tail between my legs isn't really my thing. Alright. Now we gotta go here. And there we go.
It has a unique palette that transcends time. It sparkles with dark glimmers of the past. Utterly miraculous, don't you agree? A masterpiece. A piece of something. A statue fashioned after this would unleash the miracle of ideal beauty locked within. Look closely. Observe with your senses. The oxidized film deters corrosion and gives it a lovely... Fascinating. So that's a lot of money for a job that easy. And we get a Station X as a reward. And we get alternate costumes at the shop. Now with the delivery done, we can hopefully not get into random battles. And it looks like it's just far enough so that I can't run away. Great. This isn't worth getting killed over. So, gonna keep going to the entrance. And then back to base. Look at how short that mission was. Well, it's a chapter after this one that's actually hard, but... We don't have any letters, so we'll just go in. As you know, Zenith regulates the lifespan of every human. Zenith itself is made of corrosion-resistant alloys. The mainspring that provides power uses thermodynamics to maintain coiled tension. It can run up to 6,000 years without maintenance. The quartz that Zenith uses to set human lifespans, however, lasts at the very most 100 years. The quartz deposits are arranged in a clockwise fashion. The mapping continues. But based on date of birth, we can estimate Quartz location. Maybe their deaths are just something I have to accept. So we get back I being emo again. Okay, looks like there's no mission, so that's the end of the chapter. Next time on Resonance of Fate, we'll check out Chapter 4. See you guys then.